welcome back guys and i'm glad to have you guys back and in this video today we are doing a new video on my wiggies multi-cam freedom shelter now uh you guys have seen this video before um if you've been a long time subscriber of mine i did a few overnighters with it actually no, i did i did one overnighter with it I, I think it was one overnighter. Anyways, it'll be in description box, or not description box, but in the link above. And also in description box below, I will have my Wiggies uh, Freedom Shelter Series playlist. So you guys can go check out those videos. But this video that we're doing is going to be the first video that I've done showing you how to set up the Wiggies Freedom Shelter tropical configuration. Yes, this is the tropical configuration. It's a really cool configuration uh, for tropical weather, I guess, or just hot weather in general. Springtime, summertime, and early fall. So I have not done this one yet. Um, I've done it with my EcoTap Freedom Shelter, but not my Wiggies. So, but I've never done like a configuration video showing you how to do it. So that's what this video is going to be, but it's going to be with the Wiggies instead of the EcoTap. And for all you guys that are not familiar, with the EcoTat or Wiggy's Freedom Shelter. Um, I will also put some more links in descriptions below for my EcoTat Freedom Shelter series that I have as well. And I, that way you guys get a little familiar with that, especially to my new subs. So with that said, we're gonna get on and we're gonna set this thing up and I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do it. So we're gonna go right over here. Okay, in order to set this type of uh, configuration up, you're gonna need the Freedom Shelter the Wiggies in particular, which is the one I have. You're gonna need your mosquito netting and you're gonna need your poles and you'll need all the pole links. You'll take your Freedom Shelter and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna lay it out flat and we're going to have the front. This is the front. Yep. That's the first step laid out flat lengthwise. Okay, on these freedom shelters, you have a hood in the back because it can also be used as a poncho. So it's optional. You can close this up now, which we'll just go ahead and close it up because you don't want no critters getting in there. We'll come down to the ends of the freedom shelter here and you'll want to have the ends zipped up. And I already got them zipped up. So, so you'll do it on the back end here. And here on the front end, you'll do the same. You'll have the front end zipped up. So front and back zipped up. Now that we now that we got the front and back zipped up, we have the side here, and we're gonna leave this whole side here unzipped for now. And this is what's gonna make the tropical configuration, or this is what's gonna make this turn into a tropical configuration. So your next step is here is to grab your your netting. This is what turns this into a tropical configuration. And we'll just lay it out right here. And so it's pretty obvious what we're going to do next is that we're going to zip this to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of the mosquito net and you have a zipper. And you're going to take the top of the Freedom Shelter zipper, and that will go right in there like this. There. Okay, I got the top part started. Now you get your bottom part. And make sure those two are put together there pretty good and solid. Otherwise, it'll be hard getting it started. All right. So there's the bottom part. Okay. And we're just gonna zip it up all the way down. Okay, we got the mosquito net zipped in. All right, so we're gonna take our poles out now. These are the two extra poles that you'll need for this tropical configuration that the shelter comes with. 
your other two pull sections right here they're already ready to go snap together together this is what you would use for the the one man shelter you would just use you would just use this pull section so we got those out we're going to go ahead and put these on to make it extend out more so this is the longest one goes in the front and just like the eco tat it just slides in a little sleeve that they have And then next, so it doesn't move on you, you can go ahead and stake it out. Okay, now we're at the back side, same thing in the front. Just run through the sleeve again. And then we're gonna run through this little, the one man shelter where the, uh, the Easton pole will go through. We're gonna run it through that as well. I don't think you necessarily have to, but we're just gonna do it. And then we're gonna run it through this little loop on here too. And I actually forgot the loop on the front. I'll fix that. We'll run that through that loop. And then since we're doing the tropical configuration, the pole will go in the very bottom pole or the bottom pole holder there that holds it. And then now you just stake it out. We got the little stake out loops right here on the bottom. We'll come over here and fix this section. I just gotta run the pull through that little loop there, which is the same loop through here. Here we have it guys. This is the tropical configuration. Now I didn't I didn't put the pole through here. I can do that too. I don't know. Don't really know if you need to do that or not. But if you're in high winds maybe. But regardless, you got these guy lines too here. We have guy lines all over this thing. Now, I will point out what's different with this one is I don't think the EcoTat version of this shelter has the loops on the mosquito net as the Wiggies. The Wiggies have the loops here. So, uh, and the same thing down here too. I don't think the EcoTat has that. That's not on the tent. That is sewed onto the, the mesh, the mosquito netting here. Now, another thing I will point out with this is the zippers. The zippers are different. These will not work with the EcoTats. The zipper teeth are much, much bigger. And I will tell you, they work a lot better. No problems at all, no bite, no biting. Just they unzip great. So, uh, but yeah, so this is how you, this is how you can enter it. You just unzip it right here. All the way down. You can get in, you can get in that way like that. Definitely have a lot, lot, lot more room in here. Ah. 
definitely gonna take my shoes off for this one. <laughs> You see how much room's in here? There's a lot of room in here. I can just pull the zipper with one arm right now. It's not catching like the EcoTat did. So if you if you guys watch my EcoTat videos, you'll saw the zipper kept snagging. Check this one out. No problems. This is where it was snagging on me on my EcoTat. Eh, not too bad, but I think you gotta hold it a little bit just to get the shut. No big deal. So here we are. We are in the inside of the tropical configuration right now. And guys, there is just there's a lot of room in here. And I'm six foot and I have plenty of room. I mean plenty of foot space down here. You see my head? I have all this space here. See my hand there. And uh height wise as well. You guys can see my hand here. But yeah, plenty of room in here. I mean, I can, I got full, and same thing here. This thing even goes out some too. So if you have room, you can turn around really well in here. It's just hard to show you on camera, but. So yeah, this thing's awesome. So with that said, guys, that's the tropical configuration. Probably said it a million times now. And uh, I'm kind of sweating right now. Let's sit down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, if you guys stayed along this far, I don't know what else to tell you about this this configuration because I mean, it's all it is. It just expands it and it makes it a tropical configuration. But uh, I mean, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the wind blowing on it, but you can just see the breeze going right through with the vents open on both sides. And it, it is weird because you see it's like it's like a uh, lopsided down it's just really it's just awkward the way it sits but it works just fine and another thing that's really cool is with your mosquito net once you get it all you get it rolled up you have uh, a bag the bags connected to the mosquito net so then you can just reverse it and you put your mosquito net away. <laughs> if I can do it, <laughs> might not have it rolled up very well. There we go. It just stuffs in there. Just like that. You got a little drawstring. You store that in there like that. That's pretty cool. So if you guys have stayed along this far, this is the first installment of a configuration video for the Wigum or the Wigums, the Wiggies Freedom Shelter. All right, so next weekend, guess what? We're gonna do an overnighter. And we are doing an overnighter using the EcoTat along with some other stuff. But I'm doing an EcoTat um, configuration you guys have not seen yet. And it's kind of secret. So it's not a configuration that's even in the manual for EcoTat. But uh, there's a little more tooth than just that. But we'll leave it as a surprise for you guys. But um, so stay tuned. Next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, we'll be camping out Sunday. So my video will probably be up Monday or Tuesday. And uh, we're going to do an overnight on that. And we're also going to be doing a three-man shelter with the EcoTat. So stay tuned for that one, too. I'm trying to get one right now. <laughs> so uh, with that said, uh, there's nothing really else to be said with this shelter. So that's the tropical configuration. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you look, check the links out to, uh, to my new subs if you're watching. And there'll be a, a, a Freedom Shelter list, my EcoTat and my Wiggy Shelter in the description box below. So, uh, guys, it's been great. Lovely. Glad to have you guys. 
I will see you next weekend. God bless you guys and take care. Bye.